Back now with a special salute to service for a decorated World War II fighter pilot who just reached a major milestone. Retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Harry T. Stewart turned 100 years old this 4th of July. 80 years ago, he earned distinction in the skies over Europe as a member of the famed Tuskegee Airmen. And today, a Detroit Museum paid tribute with a one-of-a-kind birthday present. 7 News Detroit's Christiana Ford was on the city's east side for this special celebration for a true American hero. It is a celebration fit for a king for Lieutenant Colonel Harry T. Stewart Jr. After all, it's not every day a Tuskegee Airman turns 100 years old. This isn't the typical 4th of July celebration. That would be the first airplane a Tuskegee Airman would fly as his initial training World War II. This is a birthday celebration for one of the last surviving Tuskegee Airmen. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi there. Lieutenant Colonel Harry Stewart Jr.'s 100th birthday and 100th Independence Day. It's not too uh, easy to get used to yet. I wanted it to has happen very fast when I was a teenager, but now I want it to slow down a little bit. Deployed overseas to Italy in 1944, assigned to the 332nd Fighter Group, Harry flew 43 long-range bomber escort missions into Central Europe and was credited with destroying three enemy aircraft in aerial combat and one of the original four Top Guns. We flew together down in Las Vegas in 1949 at the first Top Gun. Decades later, at 100, Stewart is still as sharp as a tack. That's the uh, PT-17. With a memory like an elephant and a big sense of humor. Maybe the two of us should plan something for the 101st, huh? <laughs> we'll combine them. You gotta stick around. I'll be here. I'll be here. <laughs> the party put on by the Detroit chapter of the Tuskegee Airmen and the Tuskegee National Historical Museum. We uh, are just blessed to have this day, this moment in time, to celebrate him, his accomplishments, his history, his legacy, and for all he's done for America and Americans. A party full of his family and friends near and far, giving Stewart his flowers while he can smell them. I'm awed, I'm just overwhelmed with it, you know. It's, I think it's wonderful. He tells me he's happy to share his special day with the country he fought for. I think I love it just as much. I loved it then and I love it now. In Detroit, Christiana Ford, 7 News Detroit. Thank you so much, Christiana.